All right. So again, as I mentioned, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, I also have to change my name. So my name is Ryan Knight from the Afro-Caribbean Business Network. And we are here talking about the upcoming Padna Susu that we do in partnership with uh, Wovio. So James from Wovio is here to walk us through the platform, uh, what they've been able to build to support not just saving, but also getting access to credit. And if you don't know about ACBN, a uh, quick overview. We support entrepreneurs of African and Caribbean heritage. We also work with community organizations to help with getting access to funding. And so we have our own microloan and we also do the SUSU partner to help people save. And typically we help people with businesses save and get access to funding, but partners can be used for anything that you're saving for. So we're here to have a presentation from James and to invite you to be part of the community. So if you're not already in our platform, which is on Wovio, I'm going to put that into the chat so you have it. But then after James finishes, oh, wait, I didn't even copy this thing properly. So I'll put this into the chat so you can, as James is talking, you can definitely go and sign up. And we're going to explain after you sign up what you need to do to join our hand, but this is the link to ACBN's community. But James, I will give the floor to you so that you can start to let us know through your presentation and then we'll have time for questions. And again, please put where you're from in the chat. Let us know what organization you're with or business so that we can also follow in what you do. But James, the floor is yours. Let me just make sure you're able. Let me know if you have any trouble sharing your screen. Looks like it's all good. All right. I'm on mute. Sorry, I was on mute there. All right. And good day, everyone. And happy, happy Monday. Uh, sincerely, thank you so, so much for making the time on yeah on a Monday afternoon to be here. Uh, understanding that everyone might be at different times of the day. So if you are around the six o'clock uh, in the evening, if you're in the Toronto region, please, I hope you had a great day. And thank you. Yes, sincerely. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Uh, my name is James Mohato. I am one of the co-founders and the customer success ma manager at Wovio. Uh, and essentially, our presentation for this afternoon is focused on community credit, um, taking a community-centric approach for credit, uh, not only for your personal financial success, but that of your business as well. And really applying the system of Rosca or Susu or Chamas to, uh, yeah, to businesses in Canada today as we see it. Um, so before I start, um, I hope everyone can hear me. And if I could get a thumbs up, that would be amazing. I see Ryan, awesomeness. I see Ivo, I see Manuel. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Um, so I'll start just very first and foremost. Um, how many of you know of the system called uh, Partner? Uh, it could be called Susu. It could be called Ajo. It could be called Chama. Uh, just by a quick show of hands, how many people would be familiar with this? Um, yeah, with this system. Okay, I definitely see some hands going. I see some people waving. Thank you so much, uh, Lorraine. Thank you, Deb. Uh, okay, uh, some people I'm not seeing, but I'm hoping that some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, and my presentation today is really focused on maybe changing your perception of what this system is into what we envision it being right now, um, as far as the 2024 modern interpretation of what a Chama or what a, a Rosca or a Susu or Azure might be. Um, so again, my name is James Mohato. Um, I work with Wovio as mentioned, and I am the co-founder and, oh, I am a co-founder, but also the customer success manager of the organization. Uh, for I am I am the firstborn in a family of three, and when I started my entrepreneurial journey, I was very fortunate because my my family had a business, and I was one of the earliest stock boys of the company. And my passion is really to be of service to my family and community because I was able to come to Canada because of a system such as Ajo Esusu, um, and in Kenya we call it Achama, and that's because. Uh, 
when my family didn't have the money to borrow from a traditional institution, they were able to borrow from the community. And that was really important um, in terms of getting me to where I am today. So I'm very appreciative of the system, but also a very big advocate and disciple for how it can work to benefit people's lives. So the agenda is that I will quickly go through a presentation, uh, but equally focusing on the key strengths of what a modern day rotating system could give you in terms of the benefits. Then at the end, just some quick door prizes, really just around understanding the different components and really what we've talked about today. Um, so this is meant to be very much casual, um, relaxing. Um, you've had a long Monday after the weekend. So please, I hope you're all uh, yeah able to sit back and enjoy the presentation. Um, really, as we get things started, um, we I wanted to make sure I communicate some understandings about where we are right now in Canada as a population and some of the challenges that we might be facing financially. Uh, most importantly being that we are in a regime of interest rates where we've seen interest rates almost skyrocket in terms of how much you're paying for debt, in terms of credit, but equally when inflation or when matched to inflation, we're seeing that a lot of the savings or a lot of the interest rates um, are negatively being affected by how much it's costing us to just live and survive in today's world. Um, almost to say that inflation is growing is going up, so it's costing us more to live, while interest rates are low and meaning that you're not seeing as much of a benefit by saving. Uh, one in four Canadians cannot afford an emergency of $500 because of this, because of the rising costs of living and the rising costs of just being able to afford uh, your day-to-day -day expenses. And a cost of 500 is seen as an expense that is above and beyond what most people can afford. Uh, Nine million Canadians are faced with paying above 23% in their interest. And this is primarily due to them being below prime or subprime borrowers. So these are individuals um, when you have a credit score of below 660 or between 660 to 724, you are seen as being subprime. Um, so anyone with a credit score of below 720 is seen to be subprime. And because of that, you will be paying higher amounts of interest when it comes to any credit that you may have borrowed. Um, so it is expensive to live with debt and live with credit in this day and age and really the fact is that it gets more and more expensive as inflation goes up, and it really jeopardizes your ability to access even basic emergency services if you should need it. And for this presentation, one thing I really wanted to emphasize is the different components of credit and how they feed into the modern interpretation of what an ESUSU or an AJO or a CHAMA might be, or even a partner might be. Uh, so when you're looking at credit and the different components of credit, we look at the length of history, um, how much of that is new credit um, within your credit, what is the mix? So do you have a mortgage? Do you have a car loan? Do you have a personal line of credit? Do you have a credit card? Uh, then also what's your credit payment history? So the banks are looking at how have you paid or how have you, traditionally been able to repay the amount of credit that you owe or the debt that you owe. And finally is credit utilization. And this speaks more to based on the credit that you have, how are you using it? And so the components that lead into understanding your credit score or building your credit score is based on the factors on the screen right now. The most important one being credit history, credit payment history. So a measurement of how are you repaying the debt that you might already have or on the credit that you already have from the different institutions that have given it to you. Um, then followed by that is credit utilization. And this speaks to how much of the debt that you've been given are you currently using? And this is where people say, you don't want to be using 100% of your debt or you don't want to have your credit cards maxed out. You usually want to have a portion of that that is not being used. And then the last component is the length of credit history. And this is something that usually affects a lot of immigrants, but also um, minority businesses in that the longer you're able to pay back or longer you're able to show a track record of credit history, then the better the information or the better position you are in when it comes to your credit score. And these are just, I guess, the general overviews of the components that build your credit score into the goal that is eventually presented to you. So whether it's your Equifax or your TransUnion score, these are the components that would usually feed into this. And for Warview, what we've done is we've taken the components of a traditional loan and broken it down into the similar credit components that allow you to build your credit history while taking part in uh, Azure or taking part in a partner or taking part in a Roska group. 
All right. And the reason why I really want to highlight the credit score or your ability to build credit history with Wovio is because when you look at, at affordability in today's world, if we were to take an average loan of $5,000, where the interest is at 19%, then there are three options you could basically be given. So this is a traditional loan in the sense that you're borrowing from an institution where there's a 19% interest charged to you as an individual for borrowing that. What does that look like? So we have a situation where you could make the monthly payments of 250, or you could make an extra payment of $100, which would land you paying 350, or you could pay $500 a month, and that'll be the final um, consideration we have at the end. And so when this is spread out for everyone to see in terms of their repayment schedule, then the cost of debt is really what we're trying to make an argument for, in terms of how your community can be leveraged for financial gain and for you to actually re receive some of the benefits of a community credit system. Uh, so we're taking the first example where you borrowed $5,000 and all you're doing is paying back the $250 that was originally the minimal amount. So paying back $250, it'll take you two years and a month to actually clear out the debt of $5,000 and you will pay a total interest of $1,060 at by the end of that two year period. Similarly, if you were to pay 350, which was our option B, so remember you're borrowing $5,000 and you're paying 19%. If you were to only make payments of 250, then you're equally going to have a total interest paid of 713, but you will have been paying off this debt for a period of one year, five months. And the last consideration is, let's say you were able to afford $500 a month as a business or as an individual as well. So you borrowed $5,000, you're paying $500 every month, and that is the final consideration we have here for option C. And what that shows is that for $500 every month and a $5,000 debt, you'll be paying this off for 11 months. And at the end of it, you'll have paid an interest of about $486, uh, $486 uh, based on that for the 11 months. Um, and all of this is to show you that when you do borrow traditional credit, there is a cost that comes with it, which is usually the interest rate. Now, the big difference being that what happens if you were to switch the consideration of borrowing from your traditional institution and then substitute your community in as the organization or the, as the body supporting you towards your financial goals. Um, this is where Wovio comes in. So with Wovio, we enable individuals to set up the individual, I'd say, quote unquote, community cooperatives or co credit groups where you're able to pull your resources and distribute it among your members, similar to a partner, similar to an Esusu or similar to an Azure but there is no credit assigned to it, um, or there is no interest assigned to it at the end of the day. And so you potentially could be able to borrow $5,000, similarly to how you would with your institution, but the difference is for $500 monthly payment, you'll be able to pay that off in 10 months, so you're saving yourself an entire month, but equally that $486 that we saw before, you're not paying that in interest. So it's actually more affordable by about $500 for you to borrow from your community than you would from a traditional institution. Now, if you were to take this and consider it among a group of 10 people, so let's say we're working with 10 individuals or 10 businesses, and everyone is coming in to put in $5,000 or to receive $5,000 from their hand, then it would be a rotation of $500 every month or every two weeks. And as that money is being pulled together, you would be receiving the 5,000, but the savings to everyone, so to all the 10 participants, Uh-oh, check, check. Did my computer freeze or did James' computer freeze? He's frozen. He's frozen. It's James, it's James. It's James. Yes. Yes. All right, James, you froze Anime. for a second. Oh, sorry. I think you, yeah, Harry. you definitely froze, all right. Did I freeze? Yep. Oh, yes, okay. but you're back. Yes. Last I'm sentence, back now. I was slide you missed. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm so sorry if you if froze there for too long. Um, Did, did I lose you, or was it on this page right here? Yeah. Yeah, that just page. after you said the 10 months, 500, zero interest. Mm. So if you want to start from there. 
Oh yeah. Um. So similar to yeah. So just recapping that. Um. So I'm gonna go back to the example that I gave here. So let's say you're traditionally borrowing debt from an institution, and these are the different parameters they would give you. So the in option A you would be paying about two hundred and fifty. In option B you'd be paying three hundred and fifty. But in option C you'd be paying five hundred dollars every month for basically being able to borrow five thousand uh, dollars. The most important factor to consider is the interest that you would be paid here. So for 250, you're paying about $1,000 in interest. For 350, you're paying about 713. And for $500 in payments, you're paying about 486 um, every month into, oh, as far as interest in the total term of the loan that you'll be borrowing. The flip side of it and what I was showing is that if you were to borrow the same 5,000 from your community among 10 people, so it would be a group of 10 people coming together, each contributing 500 as far as the partner system is concerned, then the total pool would be $5,000, but you would be able to pay this back within 10 months because you're doing monthly payments. And because there's no interest, that final payment of the 486 at the end is zero. So you pay back your debt earlier, but it also costs you less. And what we're really leveraging here is the power of partner and rotating savings and credit systems in actual savings that you will feel, but more importantly, what the entire community would feel. And so when and you look just oh sorry, sorry. quick so that final um, line there where it says interest paid, should mm -hmm. that be four hundred eighty six dot thirty nine? No, it should Based be on the last line. Uh -huh. It should be 4,000 because we're considering it for the whole community. Oh, and so all of them yeah. added yeah. up. Okay. Because what, ha what happens in that case, let's say, and we'll just go back to the first example here where I have this chart. So as an individual, you're paying about interest of 500, oh, sorry, interest of about 486. But when you think about it from a group perspective, let's say, and th th this is really where the community aspect of the banking comes in, is that we're five or we're 10 individuals who all are in need of $5,000. Uh, we have either debt we want to be able to pay off, we have businesses we'd like to start, or we have household expenses that we'd like support for, um, but equally don't want to go down the system of paying additional interest for it. Uh, the community banking system of Partner and Susu and Ajo allows you to bypass the interest of 476 because what you're doing is borrowing from your members of your community and leveraging them as a financial resource. And so hence, you as an individual will save 486, but among the entire community, you're saving about $4,000. And these numbers really get much bigger when you think about them not being 10 or 20 individuals, but let's say you're doing it among 50 community members and you're trying to develop a major project, then the power of interest saved really shines through there. Okay. Now, I hope, yeah, are there any questions? Because I think I've gone through quite a bit there really quickly, uh, but I would like to check if there are any questions tying the credit component equally, um, how, oh, basically what we're trying to do with the different groups and the advantage that you're seeing from interest. Uh, but yeah, I was just interested to know if there are any questions. And I see Brenda. Yeah, you mentioned interest. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Interest pay. What about principal? Like usually, you pay principal interest. Mm -hmm. So, what happens? Go back to your chart. I mean, all I see is mentions of interest, but where's the principal payment? Oh yes. Okay. So I touch on the original balance, which is the five thousand that would be borrowed. Yeah. So in this situation, of what I'm explaining is you, and I'll go back to the slide here. So for a group of ten, you would have ten individuals each putting in five hundred dollars. Um, either on a monthly or bi-weekly frequency. And if it's 10 individuals, that'll end up being 5,000 in total, but each member will commit to paying $500 based on their partner rotation. So, so the, what you're showing here is no interest is paid. Yes, no interest is paid. And so simply, how, do you, how do you fund something where you don't make interest from the basic core money? I mean... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I, I mean I mean I know the principle what you're getting but I'm trying to figure out well how who's making any money here mm -hmm. like how do you yeah. set up how does Wovio make money if you're not charging interest or someone's not charging interest yes um so Wovio okay I can touch on that so how okay Wovio... it's if you show it later that's fine but oh. I'm, I'm just not clear in your chart where 
I'm used to a chart that shows your principal and interest equals mm -hmm. what, you know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. when I see you say interest, zero, then is everything just principal? In which case, well, wh what happens to the interest? There's no interest charged mm -hmm. on these funds. And how do you set up a financial institution where there's no in interest charge? That's yes. Those are my points. Awesome. And any, any other questions? Going once. Although there is no interest, is there some form of a fee? Because I know when I've been in partners before, like the, kind of like a banker's fee. So the person who's actually organizing it, we give them a little something. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Yes, indeed. Actually, yeah, um, that's exactly it. Um, M. Welsh, um, yeah, that we are almost complementing that with a fee, but I will touch on that as well. And okay. from Melissa, was there, I think I see your hand up as well. You wanna, yeah. Oh. You're going to touch on it later. Yes. You, did, you didn't answer the question. Okay. Oh, yes, I'll definitely touch on it. Yeah, I had just a quick question, and that was that, Um, so is it, so it's every 10 months, somebody in the in the group gets the five gets five thousand dollars is that it and everybody mm -hmm. pays in five thousand five hundred a month Ooh, yes um so melissa is the timeline and for karen also there's a question in the chat from marcia oh okay oh there's a lot of questions yeah, I do see a question. Can one person have multiple hands? I know in traditional partners or susus, you can do that. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy to do it in this situation because it is linked to your personal and your bank account. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to create two accounts to do the same thing. You would have to have a separate person log in and be the person that money is being subtracted from you wouldn't be able to personally do it yourself with two accounts. Is yeah. that accurate, James, based on what uh, I saw? Yeah. Very accurate. Um, we are looking to find a way to incorporate two accounts. Um, just it's not something we have ready yet. But right now, it's one person, one hand. And quickly to Melissa's question. Um, so if there's 10 people and everybody's putting in 500 per month, mm -hmm. one person gets 5,000 each month. So mm -hmm. it rotates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a big, oh, I think if those, those are both Melissa's and Karen's um, questions. Yeah, it is basically, so we're running, uh, rotating. So Wovio provides the technology for rotating credits and, yeah, rotating credit and saving system. So similar to how you'd have the Susu or partner, it's all done digitally with Wovio. Um, essentially one, organizing of transactions, scheduling of transactions, and we have the added benefit of giving you the ability to build your credit history through transactions, um, through your successful transactions as well. Uh, the How we make our money is through a subscription fee. Um, and this is based on two tiers. So one, we have a completely free side of Wovio where you can participate in one SUSU group or one Roska group um, with the full benefits of being able to monitor your credit, but also participating in the group and being able to monitor and understand how you can build your credit. Uh, and then the second one is that we have a group, we have our premium offering, which is $10 a month. You can participate in as many Roska groups as you like. Secondly, you're able to build credit history. Um, you also receive default protection. So a big um, big risk sometimes is let's say what happens if a member was to leave the group after receiving their hand, Wovio on our part will take care of that. So we'll almost provide a bit of insurance in case someone is to leave. Uh, we almost make sure that we're able to complete their hand. Then the last piece is that as a premium member for that $10 a month, you're also able to accept or able to receive interest-free credit based on your future hand or your future payout. And for us, well, with us as the company, one thing we wanted to do was not charge people, let's say a variable rate. So we're not charging you based on how much you're withdrawing or how much you're transacting. Uh, we wanted to insist on a flat fee every single month. And for this fee, you're basically able to extend the usual services of a partner or a SUSU group, but we also have the free side of things. All right. And I, I still see some hands up. So before I go on, because I 
I think the second part of the presentation is really speaking about um, why we're gathered today. So I'll check with Zainab and also with Karen um, and Melissa if I've answered any of your, your questions. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, good thing you said before you go. So no, what we are here, I have no clue. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like <clears throat> it's uh, Ryan uh, send me information. I am really mm -hmm. appreciate, and uh, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. But like going back, although you uh, you have to come back to that interest pay of mm -hmm. zero. Um, according to your presentation, I'm following up like if in case like you are late payment, they are the, the um, how they call the interest rate will fall in. Mm -hmm. That's my thoughts. I don't know if I answer your question that um, uh, the first questionnaire mm -hmm. uh, talking about the uh, interest rates, if it's zero. But according to I'm doing follow up of your presentation, mm -hmm. saying for now, as a community, trying to bring something to our knowledge, like me, I never where I came from, we don't know about credit. Mm -hmm. So Canada built with credit. So mm -hmm. while I was working, I, I said they asked me to take credit. I said, no, I have money already. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. In that case, I got, uh, I I shoot myself in the leg. Mm -hmm. I have no good, uh, no credit anyways. So, however, my question now is, <clears throat> is this group is for only individual or for organization, non -pro for profits? Well, if it's non for profit, it's a, a board. If it's for business, Mm -hmm. Do you go in with that credit to the organization or the business or individual? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, um, so I can answer that one quickly. So we work with the system we have because it's digital. We have the ability to help businesses and individuals build up their credit history. And that's because with Wovio, what we're focusing on as far as credit is three components. Um, so I'll put it here on the screen in that with Wovio, because it's your if you think of your traditional partner account, it's essentially you're receiving a loan from your community. So as mentioned earlier, the principal or the face value of the loan is the hand that you'll receive. So the big payout, uh, the installments that you'll be making your payments on is the frequency of contributions you'll be making. So it could be $50, it could be $100 every two weeks or every month. And then the last one is the term of the loan is based on how long the SUSU group will be active for. Because a principle of Wovio is that we don't charge interest right now. The interest rate in that calculation will be zero. Uh, so what we're able to do with Wovio is using the length of history of the group, we're usually assigning that to the group that you're actively in. But your credit payment history, because it's every two weeks or every month, we are able to update that a lot more frequently than would say a credit card or traditional loan or traditional um, bank, yeah, or traditional bank loan. Um, and that's really how we help you build your credit in that we're using the traditional components of a loan and replacing them with the components of a SUSU or a partner. Uh, but is, uh, is a business able to register on the platform or is yeah. it only an individual can register? Um, businesses are also able to register on the platform now. What we are hoping to do is actually get a different process for businesses. Um, and that's just because there's, yeah, the goal is how can we provide businesses with credit? That's something that's maybe a future implementation. Right now, please sign up with your individual accounts, but you can also sign up with a business account, but we're encouraging people to use their individual. Okay, but gotcha. support Oh, sorry. Yeah, Zane, uh, I guess let Karen ask her question and we'll come back to you. Okay. So I just want to say thank you. Um, I'm coming from the banking background. So I don't think people understand, maybe Ivor and Ryan, you will know that what you've just done is you've created a form where we don't have to use our credit card. I can go to the community and instead of paying 18, 19%, I'm paying maybe 0.075 because that's the cost of the subscription. And that is your interest payment. If you want to look at it that way, those are the costs. So it's a lot cheaper to do 
the partner Susu. We just have to normalize it yeah. in the community. So I just wanted to say thank you. It's a fantastic idea. All right. And I think Monique, before I move on to the next slides. Yeah, thanks so much. This has been a really informative discussion. And I'm just wondering for people who are in the investment space, meaning real estate investing and um, possibly wanting to use a system like this mm -hmm. to support down payments. I know you've been using the uh, hypothetical example of 5,000, but mm -hmm. I'm wondering, is there ability to expand that beyond that benchmark and make it larger so this can support people who want to access um, development projects and expanding real estate portfolios uh yes um entirely uh that's one of the use cases we're actually currently actively exploring um so monique i'd say on one side please engage um, with myself and ryan just like to follow up on that but equally it is um yeah it's a space that we're very much looking at and looking how we can partner with different community or organ organizers who are currently doing this work because we have seen it we have seen communities do it, uh, but we haven't had the experience of doing it ourselves yet. All right, excellent. Awesome, Thanks man. again. No, my pleasure. Yeah, and I'm thinking, James, let's go till the end of the presentation and yeah. then we'll really open Before back up. <laughs> yeah, I completely understand. I think yeah, a lot of questions came in. Um, but if you're in attendance to this call right now, um, these are gonna be the most important slides because this is really why you're here. Um, so one is that within the Black community, a lot of programs have been released over the last two years um, since the incidents of George Floyd that have to do with supporting Black businesses in the Black community. Um, some of the failures that we've seen from these programs have to do with the factors that you've seen on your screen right now. Um, business literacy is cited to be very low among Black and minority individuals and businesses. Um, there isn't much data about loans and um, almost the relationship between minority communities and the institution. So the lending data isn't as accurate as we'd like. And the risk of lending with minority businesses and individuals is heightened because of repayment rate. And focusing on these three, the system of Esusu or Ajo or partner is something that we find is very culturally relevant to fight or combat some of the stigma that is faced with minority businesses. And that's because within the framework of our partner, we can drive financial literacy. And that's why we're partnering with the ACBN. And because of the platform, we're able to come back with data that can actually show the repayment history and drive further economic and financial investment into minority communities. Uh, on, on the risk side, we see that people are more likely to pay back these community loans because there's an initiative or there's an incentive for you to support your community. So we're really hoping to leverage these items and these factors through a digital partner that allows to us to highlight the black, black community, but also make sure credit is directed towards um, yeah, businesses and individuals that are from our own communities. The last area that we're really focusing on is available credit and capital for businesses and minority businesses and, the minor and our communities as well. And the reason you would be here today is because you are identified as someone who is either an individual who could benefit from using a digital Rosca or a digital Susu, or you're a business who could benefit from receiving low credit or low interest credit to support your business, either as a startup or to expand it into the future. And so really we're focusing on three groups of people, individuals, new businesses, but also existing businesses that are looking to develop themselves. And really the reason why we're championing this method is because there's 1.5 billion people using rotating savings and credit systems across the world. So it's a really powerful system. And there's a lot of value derived from using such a system, not only from the money that can be accessible, but equally the benefits each of the members can find. We will be running three programs, as I mentioned. One is a credit and community debt repayment program. So if you're an individual who's in attendance right now, you're dealing with some credit card debt, we want to use the partner system to help you pay off some of that debt. And as mentioned, because it is interest-free, it becomes much more affordable than having a credit card or a line of credit. 
Secondly, business startups. So if you're a new entrepreneur, you're thinking about starting a business, you, or you have just the idea, then this is an ecosystem to support you in building up that business idea, but at the same time, getting maybe the small funding that will allow you to maybe develop your website, develop your first product, or engage with an audience of customers. Then the last one is business nurturing. So we're focusing on businesses that are already established and are looking to expand within the ACBN ecosystem. And this will be complementing some of the training and resources that are provided by ACBN, but really adding credit to really allow you to invest in building the business up. And what we're looking for for each of the sections is that within the community and or within the credit and community debt repayment, we're looking for 20 participants who are looking to reduce their debt by at least $2,000. Uh, in the second cohort, we're looking for 10 businesses that are looking to raise at least $5,000 towards starting or creating their business. And in the business development or in the business nurturing, we're looking for 10 businesses who would be able to contribute at least $1,000 every month towards their business. And this will allow them to get a payout of $10,000. And so on your screen, really identifying that we're looking for groups of 20 participants on the individual level to pay off debt, 10 individuals who might be early in their business startup, and then 10 businesses that are already developed. And those will be working a lot closer to really expand their business throughout the next six months. All right. Now, the other section is really trying to highlight why this is important and why it's important really right now. Um, and that's because for the longest time and the reason we're able to bring you this technology is that a lot of these relationships have been very informal. They've been done on WhatsApp and there really hasn't been a, an interpretation of what it would look like in the future. And so with Worldview, what we really want to show is that the future is here. You can actually download the app, sign up, and you're able to go create your different SUSU groups based on your demand. And one thing I would like to encourage all of you right now is once you see the QR code or once you hit the invitation to the community, is just to go on and post which, community, which group you'd like to be a part of or how you'd like to contribute or how you'd like to participate in the different groups that we will have. And I think this is the last one. Um, so really coming back to the benefits of using Wovio. Um, so one, if you're using it as a benefit or using it as a premium member, you receive default protection. That means if you're in one of the larger groups, let's say the 10,000 group for established businesses or the startup businesses, if an individual isn't able to pay, then Wovio is able to step in and make sure that you as a person receiving the payout receive the full amount of it. The second thing you're able to receive is cash advances. So you're able to draw interest-free on a future payout that you would be receiving. The third thing is group monitoring and transaction group and transaction monitoring. And this really allows you to have that transparency of how the platform or how money is moving in your specific group. But equally, you're able to get that um, trust building with other members in your group to show to also show how they are reliably using the platform. And the last factor is credit building. So you're able to use your traditional Azure or your traditional Asusu and partner to help you build credit history. All right, this is really the end. Um, so one, we're just focusing on, if you scan the QR code, you will be directed directly to the ACBN community. You're able to complete your profile from there and actually sign up. And in the community dashboard, you can post in a comment of, what kind of group you'd like to be in. And the goal is that by next Friday, we want to start our first kickoff of initial groups. Um, sorry, I mean, sorry to interrupt. I think we need yes. the full um, scan code. It needs to be like moved up a little bit. Oh, move it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's... And I think I put the link in the chat as well. Is that we the... Yeah, it's the is same the link. Same... Okay. Yeah. So it's also in the chat just in case. Yes. It might be your screen too, because it, it works for me the way you had it. In. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Um, but I think with that, because I do see some questions coming up, I'll, I'll pass it on to Zainab to see if she has any questions. And I'll just go through a quick Q&A for anyone who has um, yeah, any questions at all. And so Zainab. Yeah, <clears throat> you uh, during the steps, I really wanted to get back, if you go back to the presentation, Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, there I will be able to master the question I wanted to, or other than that, it's gone again. Okay, uh, let me go. So let's please. See. So it's this one. Uh 
not really no ah uh, no uh, before that before that oh okay this one here yes exactly okay. this one right yes. like for the example of uh like our startup yes I got everything, including uh, procurement, what we sell, what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So if you want to uh, borrow money mm -hmm. for the head now, like to go buy the product mm -hmm. to bring, mm -hmm. how does this fit these three category you can uh, apply? You give your profile, you open. Mm -hmm. How do you do it and uh, uh, for us to be successful? Mm -hmm. Then uh, two, again, <clears throat> like you mentioned about the group, mm -hmm. indicated by groups. Is it by organization, group, or by individual that they join together with other organization you apply? And how much if it's, is it only $5,000 that somebody can borrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can answer that. Um, so starting with, uh, I guess, yeah, the first question is the group will be formed by individuals in the ACBN community. And that means it will only be people who are on this call. It will be people within the trusted ecosystem of ACBN. So Ryan will be sending out all the invitations or you'll be only signing up to the ACBN community. So you won't be with anyone else outside of ACBN. Um, then the second one is on the amount that you're looking to borrow. That really depends on the stage you are as a business, how much you're looking to borrow, and also what outcome you have. Uh, so I know right now we're running three programs. Um, these programs can apply to both businesses and individuals in the sense that it's one person who will have one seat in the site, in the group. So if we are focusing on, let's say, the first one, which is the credit and community debt repayment, this is specific for people who want to pay off debt. But like if you have high interest debt that you're trying to get rid of, this is a program for you and it's a maximum of 2000 but we're, it's for 10 people, um, if I can recall. Yeah, it's for 20 people. If you're in the so business- So if like uh, only students yeah. loan? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Um, uh -huh. so that not, one done. So let's go on the startup. Please. Okay, so on the startup, the same thing. So let's say you're a business looking to raise $5,000, then the business startup loan would be most applicable to you. And you can decide how you want to use the money. But how the process will go is as you're applying, you will let Ryan know or ACBN know that this is how I would like to use the money. This is the intention I have for it. And secondly, this is how I plan to pay it back. So okay. the group that you will be in will be probably, it'll be a $500 group where you're, oh, sorry, you're contributing $500 and it's for 10 months and it will be starting, let's say, in the next month after this. But every month you'll be one of the members. You'll be one of the one of the 10 receiving the funds. Mm -hmm. And the same thing would apply for the business, uh, for here, for the business nursery. You'd be one of the 10 businesses. And the obligation will be a thousand dollars for ten months, but you would be one of the businesses receiving the hand or the payout at some point. So within the ten month period, you would receive it once. Thank you. I will. Uh, I will talk with uh, Ryan. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I see a question from Adeola, then uh, Christopher after. That's okay. Sorry, I put my question in the chat because I can't talk. Oh, so that's okay. Um, is there a consideration for the context regarding national oh, law? I can check for it. Yes. Um, oh, you saw it? I oh, did see one concerning debt is mm -hmm. So I'll answer two I of them. I think it's the last. Answer. Yeah. I'll answer the two questions because I know one was about the legal registration and where Wovio lies on that. Uh, so one, Wovio is a registered money service business with FinTrack of Canada. And that means that we are required to basically monitor, but also report suspicious transactions, especially if they fall above $10,000, um, which right now will only apply to one group, but we do carry out the due diligence to make sure that one, we validate the individuals using our platform and the use of funds. Uh, the second thing is also we are registered with Visa and Equifax. So Visa is so that they are our payments processor and Equifax is for credit reporting just to make sure that your information is going to the right credit bureau 
on top of that. Uh, we've also been venture backed. So Wovio to date has raised about $4 million um, through private or through venture investors. And that is what's allowing us to really deliver the product without charging, um, yeah, without charging really high prices and keeping our fee um, very um, stable at $10 a month for membership. Um, as far as the credit that is supported here, you will just be building your basic credit history in what we're reporting to Equifax. So this is this will just be seen as a personal line of credit, um, similar to how a line of credit would be from your institution. But one, we don't run any hard checks to run your credit. So there's no credit check done on you whatsoever. And secondly, in the reporting formula, we do try and be as I say, um, accommodating of the communities such that we only report uh, not we only we do report um, late payments but we do make every effort to engage with you and understand the reason for that and also provide as much detail when we are filing our reports to make sure that it, if it does it doesn't really negatively affect your credit as much as possible okay um i see christopher with a question oh you're on mute chris sorry you're asking so Ivor, so sorry, it's Ivor, Ivor Christopher. Hi, Ivor. no worries. Uh, I'm the chair of the Pan African Credit Union Initiative. This is uh, a great thing that you have provided here. So my question is more about administrative, um, from based on what we are going through in terms of getting the credit union up and going. So mm -hmm. you mentioned uh, there's a contribution default protection. How is that done? How do you guarantee mm -hmm. that? And 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 are you insured like for example if you Ooh. are with i guess for us you, through fisra or you know it's through osfi you're you're protected by cdic right mm -hmm. you're insured through cid so are you guys insured uh yes um so i'll start with the first one is that uh wovio or your deposits with wovio are insured and that's through our payment processor who's vope so they have a standard um cdic account and that those deposits are held there for any funds held on Wovio or through your Wovio wallet. Um, then the second aspect when it comes to how we part, oh, so, so sorry. I, was your, your second question was around how we partner with organizations? Sorry, I was reading. No, the no, 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 no. It's just like, how do you, how do you, how do you do it? You, you answered the question because I wanted to know how you could, whether you're insured, but you said you're insured because of, I, I think you mentioned the, the organization, Volpe? Yeah. Yeah, Vope is our payments processor. Okay, um, so basically they're they're underwriting the whole thing. So mm -hmm. basically the deposits is really being held with Vope, not with um not with Wovio. Yes, correct? Um, yes, Wovio doesn't hold any of the deposits, and that's one thing we wanted to create a bit of a separation. No, and, no, you have to, yeah, you're gonna have yeah. to really um state that because mm -hmm. yeah, because you don't wanna be um on the wrong side with FISRA or OSFI, right? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Uh, and the second one, I think, was the default protection and how that works. And that's really around some of the pain points that a lot of you might have experienced when using a SUSU product, is that what happens when someone leaves the group and you can't track them down? So with the power of technology, because everyone is registered, we take it upon ourselves to follow up with individuals who may not complete their payment. And in case that ever happens, then we're able to actually follow up with individuals. And at the same time, we can report, we can be a lot more intentional in how we communicate with them. And so we as Wovio take the responsibility of one, making sure that if someone doesn't pay, we pay for on their behalf to keep the group integrity whole, then we follow up with the individual. And everything because of the digital nature is all recorded and available for not only the community admins, but also our records if we ever need it. Okay, thank you. No, my pleasure.